Hey, Calvary by the Sea. Welcome in. It's good to be with you in this way. My name is Moses Barrios, pronouns he, him, el, and I'm the senior pastor of Calvary by the Sea here in Honolulu, Hawaii, and it's good to be with you this way. Um, this is a beautiful season. This past Sunday, we had um, got a chance to welcome in seven new members. We got uh, an opportunity to uh, baptize a good friend, Amadeus. So shout out to Amadeus in the room uh, on Sunday. That was so good. And it's been a beautiful season, really. It's um, it's so good. It's so good. Um, I wanted to clear, quickly just invite you to a few things that are happening here at our community. September 1, which is this Sunday. This Sunday, we start speaking on our third part, shall we say, of our Liberation Theology uh, series, the series that's titled, All We Want to Do is Be Free. And this Sunday, we began to speak about political liberation. Did you hear me? Political liberation, because liberation theology is that very liberation uh, conversation, social liberation, uh, economic liberation, and now political liberation. And so you'll hear me speak about politics. And I know some people have some good questions like, Pastor Moses, why do we speak about politics at church? Or why do you preach on political things? Well, you want to come this Sunday because I'm going to break it down on why it is that politics is, shall we say, everywhere in everything. So come, come on Sunday, September 1st at 10 a.m. and you'll be able to hear about the next uh, part of our sermon series, Liberation uh, from Politics. So that's that's happening this Sunday. And then September 8th, this is going to be a cool Sunday because this is a Sunday. If you, I'm not sure if you're aware of it. It's called God's Work, Our Hands. And this is a Sunday that uh, across many Lutheran congregations, probably most of them, um, and that's like over probably a thousand. I mean, sorry, 9,000. Well, a thousand, come on. 9,000. And so what we do on that Sunday, particularly, we get together and we just do service projects, uh, some of it within the church, some of it outside of the church. And so today it's going to be uh, 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 that Sunday, September 8th, will be a day that we're going to really work on our campus. We're going to uh, fix up um, Hale Aloha, one of the rooms that we use for so many things in our community too, too as well, by the way. There's community meetings that happen in that space. Um, so we're gonna spruce it up, we're gonna paint it. So if you know how to paint, we'd love for you to come. We're gonna do some trimming of our uh, gardening. There's a bunch of projects and some stuff we're gonna take out from our um, uh, basement to clean it up and make it flow better. So just a lot of really cool things happening on that day. So bring your work clothes, really. Uh, by the way, worship will be very short. It won't be longer than about 30 to 45 minutes. So if you're coming, uh, just for worship, that's fine, that's cool, but just remember it will be a shorter worship experience because we want to spend most of the time helping out around the campus. And you might think, you know, I'm not sure I can do a lot, I don't have a lot of, you know, strength or whatever it is. Well, there are some projects where you can just sit and do them. So just um, connect with uh, Renee Ako, she is going to be running it. Garrett Pick, also part, both people from our council who will be running September 8th. God's work our hands. It's going to be good. It's always good. And then I think there's a pizza lunch uh, after that as well. So you want to come for that. By the way, that same day starts something we're calling Fuel for the Future. And this is very intentional. Uh, I don't know if you were here on Sunday, but uh, uh, really minister, pastor, okay? This is Pastor Jane and Pastor Wally, two retired UCC clergy who are now in our congregation. And we love that because we get to have such cool pastors just in our congregation hanging out like come on so they are going to be leading though uh, a talks couple of talks for three sundays the 8th the 15th and the 22nd all at 8 45 a.m over at holly aloha and it's really matching really what it is that we do here missionally is our mission sustainable it's a very good question that we're going to be talking about and so i i would love for all of our members if you are financially invested in this congregation like this is your opportunity to come and learn and hear and understand why we give what we give if you don't give to our church or you're like 
on the fence and I get it listen I understand the things that are connected to like financials and churches and sometimes it's been very messy it's been inappropriate shall we say can it you know I don't want to say can I get an amen but you know what I'm talking about but the point is this that in the midst of that we are trying to change that narrative we are trying to reclaim giving in the church and to give in the church means that there is a mission there is something that needs to get done in this world and our financials our monies that we give help us to propel it forward to move it to advance it forward so if you want to check that out i think jane said you don't have to come to all three come to one of them all three are gonna be amazing because Wally is is a is a is a you know he's a teacher. He's been a seminary teacher. Jane has been a denominational leader. So we got people who know how to you know teach. So you don't want to miss uh, September eighth, fifteenth, and twenty second. All happening at eight forty five a.m. Plus there's a, a breakfast, continental breakfast, and coffee and drinks. So you do definitely want to come for that as well. And and maybe you just want to learn and you just want to hear and you want to just understand like this is this is it. This is why we do this. So that's going to be happening in those three weeks. And then a cool, real cool thing that's coming up, Movie by the Sea on Friday, September 13. And that's going to be outdoor by the ocean side. And so, you know, we're, we're our school here, Seagull Schools, we're going to be partnering with them. So shout out to Seagull Schools in the house. They're going to be uh, partnering with us. And bring the kids, bring yourself, bring your long chairs, your blankets. It's going to be an outdoor movie. Uh, we're still working on the details. I'll get more of those details out to us as I find out. Uh, so don't miss that. And that's happening, I think, at 6.30 on that, on that Friday. Just keep the date uh, open. And then um, a couple more things. Honolulu Pride Festival. Now, man, it's going to be good. I I'm so excited for this. This is going to be a, a special uh, pride for us because it's going to be happening Saturday, October 19th. And at 4 p.m., we have a parade. And at 5 o'clock, there'll be a booth. And uh, Rhonda uh, Littledale, who's been running kind of our, who runs our, our, our uh, Pride Connection group, she has been announcing it. And she just wants volunteers, people who may want to say, I want to volunteer to be on the parade and just, you know, walk and cheer along um, our church. We're going to have a banner. We're trying to do a bunch of stuff that's going to be really cool. Um, also, if you want to come and just man the booth, be, be at the booth and help us, you know, pass out flyers or when we, we usually pass out something, we give away stuff. We have this kind of spin the wheel for prizes and families and kids and all kinds of people. So if you've never been to one of these, I would highly recommend coming this year because it is a cool experience. It's a real familial experience. And I can't tell you how many people are in our church today because they have come through connecting with us at the booth. So it's really cool uh, as we uplift our queer and trans siblings uh, as holy and, and wonderfully made. So uh, come for that. They're also raising funds. So if you're able to give, if you have disposable income and you want to say, I want to support inclusivity in our island and in our church, then go ahead and write a check or give your offering by Tithely. You know where to find that on our website. Go to the Give tab, and that's where you can give. But just we're trying to raise $2,500 for T-shirts and uh, the booth costs, decorations, I mean, banners, I mean, you name it. We're trying to do it, and we want to do it well. So that's another thing, and, the, and, and I, I think that, you know, that right there, I'll stop, okay? Because it's just a lot of stuff going on in the community. But I am so excited because in this season where we are reminded but you know dr king shout out oh here we go Just look at this t-shirt uh, I'm, I'm talking about dr king right who has been an inspiration in my ministry a lot of my doctoral work was based on dr king's uh, work and and his um spirit his movements his his theology his preaching and so um i'm really impacted by him but he uh, had a, a really beautiful thought around this idea that we should care more for people than things. That our uh, people-oriented society um, needed to be uplifted and that it oftentimes it wasn't. And by the, by, the, by the way, here we are more than 60 years later, right? And, and, and maybe 65 years later and the, the truth still rings. That, that in this world there are way too many things that are more important than people. And so I, I encourage you in, in today, this week, whenever you see this video, whether it's with a, a coworker, a friend, your family, your wife, your spouse, your partner, 
uh, your children, whoever's around you, that we would begin to practice that, to uplift people above things. Listen, there is always things to do. <laughs> Let's just be honest, right? There is always things to do. Uh, it's just the truth about our world, right? There's always things to do. But, but what if? What if we say first to people and second to things? Now, whew, I mean, you don't want me to get start preaching here today. You don't want me to get going right now, but it's true, right? Like there are many things we got to do and we got to get to. And, 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 but what about being with people? How about spending more time with our loved ones, uh, with our pets, with our dogs, our cats? You know, it's just like these things are m meaningful and are long lasting, shall we say. You know, I've been a, a chaplain for like many, many years. I've been a police chaplain. I've been a, yes, you heard me, police chaplain. Uh, I, I've been a, a hospice chaplain. I've been a hospital chaplain. I, I've worked in many different settings as a chaplain. And one of the things I realized is that when the last days come, when the last moments come, uh, I don't often hear people saying, hey, can you let me that thing? <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that. Can you go get me that thing? I don't think I've ever heard that actually. Usually what I hear from people in their last days is can you call, call that person? Can you call my son, my daughter? Can you call my spouse? Um, can you call my friend? And so in a world where things abound, uh, the lesson that Dr. King said is a lesson that rings out today still. Let's, let's make ourselves people-oriented. Let's make ourselves people who uh, place value in creation with others. So, on this day, blessings wherever you are. May God's love and grace fill you, touch you, um, overwhelm you. And may we rem be reminded that fear has no room in us no room for love drives out fear much love much love to you god bless you i hope to see you this sunday hope to see you the next few sundays it's a good season it's a good time to be the church and i'm excited for that so love much love to you wherever you are on this day take care bye bye